Hello, Patreon partners. For the February 2024 Ask Me Anything video that you get, we are going to talk all about scales, chords, and arpeggios to try to answer the question, what progression do I use in teaching my students technical skills? Before we even talk about the progression, I want to answer the question, what are my main goals as a teacher in teaching my students technical exercises? So it's always really helpful to step back and even think about why are we doing this? Why are we teaching scales and chords? My first goals in teaching beginning students are of course to set them up with very good posture and develop a healthy technique that's going to prevent injury as well as create beautiful sound. That should be the goal of all technical instruction in my mind. And it's helpful to remember that technique is not just a series of drills like scales and chords, but technique is all of the movements that we make with our bodies, uh, how we sit, how we move our arms, how we position our hands, how we use our fingers and our wrists. That is technique. When we teach technical patterns, they build facility at the instrument and they also prepare for repertoire. Okay, so let's dive in now to my actual ideas on progression for technical elements. For beginning and elementary level students, my goals are to set up their posture, teach them arm alignment, and get a good hand position going. And then once that's all in place, and that would be typically the first level or perhaps two of a standard beginner method, then I teach pentascales and triads. If you are starting a student who is just a very, very much a beginner and you ask them to do a standard thumb under scale, there is a lot going on there and I don't think that's a great skill to start with at the most beginning and elementary levels. So I do introduce scales at the typical time that many of the standard methods do, and that would be at the late elementary level, or perhaps even what you might consider early intermediate. I like to start, frankly, with two octave major scales. I know that's a little strange. I don't start with one octave because... Hey friends, this video you've been watching is actually just an excerpt of a longer video available to my Patreon partners. If you're interested in hearing my entire description of technical progression that I use with my students from their earliest beginning study all the way to advanced level, then I'd invite you to join the Patreon partnership. There's a link to the page in the description of this video, or you can simply go to patreon.com slash Jana Williamson. For only $7, you can access this video as well as archived content from the past few months. I also have a workshop for piano teachers coming up on March 21st, which will be a live workshop, and there are many more benefits to membership. So please go check that out, and I look forward to seeing you in the membership.